The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has faulted the Supreme Court for setting free a former governor of Abia State, Aju Zokalu, from a 12-year jail sentence. It described the judgment as unfortunate and a technical ambush. It, however, said it is ready for the retrial of Kalu as directed by the Apex Court. The EFCC made its reaction known in a statement by its head of media and publicity, Dele Oyewali. EFCC maintained the corruption charges against Kalu still subsist because the Supreme Court did not acquit him of them. We are now joined by a legal practitioner, Justice Uwegbe, to take a look at this judgment. Thank you for joining us on the news. Good evening. Good evening to you. Um, what's your reaction to the Supreme Court's decision? Well, I mean, as a lawyer, I wasn't that surprised because uh, you look at the judgment, it has all this. The Supreme Court has appointed us to uh, give the judgment and uh, the fight officially and say the reason why the judge is. So, to me, and if you remember, uh, the Supreme Court also acquit him. They, they ordered for a retrial. Uh, on the basis that uh, of my jurisdiction, as at the time the judgment was given. So I think the, the judgment, as far as I'm concerned, to me is a good one. Uh, the EFC should uh, put their house in order again and they uh, go back to court and do the need. Uh, because looking at it very well, you remember that uh, the, the, the prior judge was actually elevated to the court of appeal. So as we find she seems to be a judge of the federal high court, as at the time he delivered that judgment. And that is where the Supreme Court gave its own uh, 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 reason for the, the, the decision they gave in the judgment. And in the wisdom of uh, the, the, the judges also, they did not uh, quit the former government father the order for the fire. I think the uh, judges, to me, is, uh, is a right All right. Looking at the substance of the case, make us understand the justification for the ruling. Uh, what? Well, well, that's what I'm telling you. If, if in a ruling or in a judgment, um, there are two things I will look at. Look at what is for the ratio of the same guy and the opposite. I think the court, uh, the, the Supreme Court here, uh, have looked at the whole scenario and look at the position uh, of the uh, judgment. That is the Criminal Justice uh, 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 Administration Act. I'm um, okay. The best thing, the, 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 the matter should be for a retire. And let me tell you, the, the, the body rule is that a judge that started the matter, I believe, will hear the matter to community and take the judgment. I think there was a, a technical level, like uh, somebody said, what, what the, the EFC should have done was immediately. The judge was on the hook. They would have applied to the admin judge for another judge to take over the matter and start the matter to move. It would have stopped them the stress of all this today. So, but we are now looking at the descendants of the legality of what has happened. Questions will be asked. And that is why, in law, the law is a harmonizing society. Now, one. Also, Zakala has stayed in prison custody for almost a year or thereabout. Now that the Supreme Court has now uh, discharged its conviction, sorry, not discharged, has now nullified its conviction, what happened to the months he has already spent in the prison? Good question. So, if the, the EFCC say that they are ready for a retrial, um, considering what we know now, that the, prosecu the uh, defense will know all the evidence and all the position of the prosecution, what are the chances that uh, this um, second trial will scale true? And how soon do you expect action uh, will be taken to commence the process? 
It doesn't really matter because there is a fact that there is this legal victim that shows expertly non argumentative stuff. Meaning, we are the fact that there is no non-dependent human. That's why I say the PSUC needs to put back their hands to the other, to produce their part, and marshal out their part, one after the other. It doesn't matter what they have happened. That's why the wisdom of the Supreme Court, they ordered for a retrial. And still so they ordered for a retrial. You can actually adduce new evidence in order to prove their case. So it doesn't really, it's neither here nor there. They are the prosecution. So the prosecution has to do this matter diligently and put to the court that yes, they actually need for conviction. Let me tell you, or put a JSP of better memory, one say that the court room is not an election ground where you go to count people head to head. That for one witness, if believed by the court, is enough to secure conviction, even in a murder trial. So the ESP should put their house to and do the needful. But that's the part.